All right, good evening. It's Dave here, screwing around with trains again. Uh, I went to the train shop today to uh, put some more money down on my Lionel that I have on uh, layaway. And uh, he had some cheap stuff, uh, used stuff outside uh, for discount prices. And when I came in, I said, you don't have any uh, locomotives out in the scratch and dent. He says, you want some? I said, yeah, let me see what you have, whatever, you know. That's, that's cheap stuff that needs repaired because that's what I like to do repair the uh, the ones that nobody wants so he came out and he gave me this one here Chattanooga that's a uh, Tyco and it's made almost exactly like the Royal Blue and I wasn't going to do it because we all know that the problems with the Royal Blue are the pins breaking off the motor but It does run, it makes some noise, so it's not completely broken, so there might be some hope for it. We'll see what happens, I'll have to take it apart. At least the, uh, hopefully the pins aren't broken on the, uh, the motor housing. I'd be really happy if there was nothing serious wrong with it and I could uh, get it to run. Uh, another one here, he had a, he had, uh, he gave me, sold me this Bachman here. Um, and this one does run, it's uh, a little bit sketchy, it needs a good clean up, hopefully that's all that it needs. So the Bachman here was running a minute ago and uh, just died on me. So I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, so I guess part of the problem is it needs clean. And I guess the... The little point here where you would connect the tender is cracked. So that'll take a little bit of work to uh, fix that up to uh, put a screw in it. And I see it's, it's a little bit dirty. So hopefully that's all it is. And then I got this guy here. We call that a doodle bug, is what he called it. Um, it says on the top, bad gear. And uh, the rest of this is in really nice shape. But, <clears throat> but I have other locomotives that also have bad gears so if I take one of them out of that and replace this I think this is a Tyco so if I take two trains and make one uh, I might be in good shape um, it does run but it certainly does sound like there's a bad gear in there as you can hear it So he wanted $15 for each of them. So I don't know. He said, "Well, I'll give you all three of them for 40 bucks." So that's I don't know, $13 a piece or something. So that's not bad. So I took this one apart, and uh, sure enough, it does have a cracked gear. As a matter of fact, it has two cracked gears. So I guess the good news is it's Bachman, so I should still be able to get parts for it, hopefully. So maybe tomorrow I'll check and uh, see if I can get those gears. All right. Working on this uh, Bachman 280 locomotive, and uh, it was kind of running, and then it didn't run, and it was getting uh, intermittent. And so I took it apart and cleaned the motor. Um, and what I had is a problem with the uh, the gears lining up here. Uh, that's called quartering, I guess, to uh, to get them in sync. 
So what I did is I took this apart. First of all, I cleaned the motor and everything, and I'll get to that. And I took out the uh, drive gear so then I could set the wheel assembly on the frame and move it freely without the uh, friction of the, the motor holding it up. So then after I got the wheel set, then I'm going to put it back together here and put the gears in it. Uh, something to note on these, they're, these are the little brush holders here and here, so I unscrewed those to clean the brushes, unlike the Tycos that you can't take off. But um, So I unscrewed them, and you'll notice one of them, this pin here, is longer than this one, so you have to put them on the, the correct side of the motor. So the longer one is towards the front, which connects to, makes contact with the other half of the frame. So that's one thing to note. So I'll put the gears in it, put it back together, and show you what I did with the, uh, the wheels. Okay, so I've got the frame here back together, and the tricky part here is putting this assembly back on there, and there's these three pins here <clears throat> that have to go in there and line up. And I find that if you just kind of do one side and then the other and a little bit at a time and work it in there, it'll be okay. I, uh, I'm not going to do this on camera because it'll be kind of painful for you to watch because <laughs> um, it just takes some patience. Uh, in here, underneath this set of wheels are two springs to make contact and I'm not going to take this apart again but make sure you remember to put the two springs in underneath this axle okay so I got this back together here and uh, I got the, the bottom cover on it and the front part on it and so to the issue of quartering and lining this up it's kind of intimidating because there's like a hundred little parts here and trying to figure out where they're supposed to go um, but basically all these wheels the pivot point is going to go in a line. So that's all there is to it. So you just have to line all that stuff up so it's in a straight line. And then, you know, make sure that the linkage does what it's supposed to. And you have it correctly in the uh, locations over here. So then what you do is, see this is kind of uh, straight across here. And then if you go to the other side, it is up and down so it's 90 degrees out of sync with the other side so that's what keeps it moving so that's really all there is to it and like I said again you'll notice you'll know you have it in the right place when they're all in line here so I think I've got that lined up okay There we go. I think I need to clean those wheels a little bit because I've, I've been handling them with some dirty hands. So clean that up a little bit and we should be in good shape. Uh, unfortunately, I always wanted a uh, locomotive with uh, steam and unfortunately I took the steam unit out of this, or the smoke unit, I'm sorry, the, the smoke unit, and it kind of crumbled into pieces as I took it out because it's so old. So and I have another problem the screws that go on the side here these holes are stripped out so I don't know if I can drill that out and put something put a small screw in there although when I put the the one screw on the bottom it, it will stay together for now so okay let's get this back together and give it a test This thing is running, but not too fast, and uh, every once in a while it just stops for no reason, and the gears bind up on it. Maybe it's going a little bit faster. Well, that's as fast as that'll go. Yeah, see, it just stops for no reason. <laughs> 